Hi guys, this is Igor from Vinus Reverie Wine Merchant here in Walnut Creek. Uh, first of all, I want to tell everybody you know, happy holidays. I hope you have a uh, nice you know, gathering with your family or enjoy your uh, you know, time with yourself. Uh, so, you know, I hope you have fun with whatever you decide to do. Alright, so this is uh, the fun time of the month. Uh, the wine club selections for December. Uh, so it's going to be uh, fun wise once again, I think, in the Adventurous Club and in the High Society Club. So let's get started. Alright, for the white wine selections, the first wine uh, is from the Grove Appellation. So Grove, it's located in uh, Southwest Bordeaux region. Uh, it's really close to probably the most famous dessert wine uh, area in the world, Saturn. And it's made from the same two grapes that Saturn is made, made from. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc and uh, Semillon. Uh, and I think this is like a great combination of grapes because you have uh, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, it's like high acidity grape. Uh, and Semillon, it's a, like a more fuller body grape. Uh, and what's good about Semillon, it's one of the you know, handful of white wines that actually ages beautifully. Uh, so this is a, a combination where Sauvignon Blanc, it's a grape that doesn't typically age for a long time when it comes from you know, California or even Sancerre or New Zealand. Uh, but a combination here, it's a wine that you could age for, for uh, you know, up to 10 years, I think. Uh, because it's, it's a great balance of you know like structure and acidity. Uh, and from Chateau Chateau I think this is a great example of the wine. So this is the first wine I've had from uh, you know uh, Bordeaux Blanc, uh, and I think it's a great introduction uh, to this uh, style of wine. So that's it. Uh, if you are in the white wines club, you'll receive the, this wine. Uh, the second white wine uh, is uh, another I think really fun wine. It's uh, made from the great Chenin Blanc uh, grapes. And it comes from Janier uh, uh, area, which is the northernmost uh, appellation in Loire Valley. Uh, and it's, it's an appellation that it was basically on the verge of extinction in the 1950s. And even now, you rarely ever see uh, wines from this area. Uh, so it's northern, the coolest appellation. So it's very kind of uh, dry and steely style of uh, Chenin Blanc. Uh, so, so in the past, you know, this area, Henry IV loved uh, uh, the Shannons from this area. He's like the, the, the one you know, royalty celebrity that uh, uh, the Appalachian kind of is known for. But uh, the other uh, uh, thing about this is that it's wines that kind of like Sauvignon, another famous uh, Shannon Blanc uh, area, where uh, the Shannon actually shows itself at its best at about 10 years age. Uh, so this is a 2015 uh, 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 version of it, and it shouldn't block, it, it's kind of like Semillon and Riesling, one of those great white grapes that can age for a really long time. So I think it's a you know, prime drinking window right now. Uh, it's got you know, like this fantastic mineral structure to it, kind of mineral backbone. Uh, and then it's, it's, it's like Apple notes, which Shannon Blanc is known for. So I, you know, I'm very excited, because a uh, very rare example of uh, Shannon Blanc, and uh, um, typically, uh, wines, when they do hit the, the marketplace, they're at a much higher price point. So I was excited that I could uh, squeeze it into the Adventurous Club. So you, uh, if you're in the Wine Wine Club, you receive this wine. And if you are in the Mixed Selection Club, you'll receive this wine. All right. And the next wine in the Mixed Selection Club is a classic or a Classico. Uh, Chianti Classico. Uh, so this is Essentia Vesi. And uh, Chianti Classico has had three fantastic vintages in a row, 18, 19, and 20. And actually, from what I, everything I read, they think 19 uh, is probably the best of the three. So I want to show an example from uh, Via uh, Cafaggio, uh, from the 2019 uh, 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 vintage. So Chianti Classico, their uh, wines based on Sangiovese grape where at least 80% of the blend has to be Sangiovese, and sometimes other local grapes are mixed in. Uh, but this is an example of 100% Sangiovese, so you know, 100% varietal, I think good representation. Uh, and this comes from the area, uh, uh, from the uh, Cafaggio Vineyards, and that particular area in the Panzano uh, region, which is one of the five original communes within the Chianti Classico, 
uh, with the wines uh, been kind of acclaimed since the Renaissance and even before that. Uh, and the, the thing about um, a lot of these, you know, like classic regions, the most uh, kind of has the same thing. Is you, uh, the wines build a reputation on particular area, and then over the years the areas kind of expand under the same umbrella. The same, you know, Chianti expanded under the umbrella, Mosel expanded into the lesser vineyards. So then you kind of have to know where the wines come from, you know, like what size they're from, because uh, so, lesser sites are under the kind of the bigger umbrella now. So, uh, you know, it gets a little bit more confusing. So I think this is a great example of, you know, kind of original Chianti Classico, one of the five great communes from ideal sites and from, you know, a fantastic vintage. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, so you will get that if you're in a mixed club. And if you're a red club, the other red wine you'll get is uh, from Penley Estate, uh, a Cabernet from Australia. And this comes from Kunawara region, which is kind of considered Australia's uh, premium Cabernet Sauvignon region. And this is made in a kind of like big ripe style, kind of, you know, wine to match the weather. You know, we're in December, kind of cool climate, you want something warm. I think this is a good example of the wines that are made in the Kunawara region. So that's a, you know, exciting wine as well. All right, so these are all the wines from the High Society Club. All right, now the, uh, the fun stuff, as, uh, I mean, that was the Adventurous Club, now the High Society Club. All right, so you get two, red, two reds in the High Society Club. And this first one from uh, Piccioni Estate, uh, I think this is kind of, is the great example of what High Society Club is about. It's about finding these fantastic wines that are, they don't have the hype behind them. Uh, they're actually like discoveries, I think, but they're premium wines made from kind of lesser known either grapes or areas. You know, just a uh, fantastic, uh, 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 I think, discoveries. So like I said, this is from Piccioni Estate, and specifically from the Salinga Valley, which is kind of close to the River Po. It's it's at an area where like uh, Piedmont and Lombardy regions kind of meet, uh, uh, and it comes from this tiny uh, uh, appellation called Botafuco, where there's like literally a handful of estates, and Piccioni is one of them. So it's made from a blend of uh, Croatina, Barbera, and a local grape called Ugetto. Uh, and it's like a fuller bodied wine, so you get this great combination of a Quarantina brings the tannic structure, and Barbera brings the acidity. And you get, you know, uh, 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 it's not a grape that I've had uh, many times, so you, it adds something to the blend, but I think Quarantina and Barbera, which are the bigger parts of the blend, really uh, like uh, give the character to, to the wine. And I think it's like absolutely original wine. It's got this, Northwest Italian character to it, like you find it in some Nebbiolos or, or some uh, uh, some grapes, kind of just kind of this like acidity with like cherry structures. But this is more fuller body than a lot of the Piedmont-based wine. So uh, uh, you know, I, I think this is a fun wine and a fantastic discovery because uh, you know, unless you're like I think a super geek, there's a good chance you probably never had a wine from that particular area of Italy. All right. The next one, probably not as uh, rare or unique, but I think it's a great example of uh, what, you know, great things are happening in South Africa. This is a Cabernet, kind of once again, uh, uh, ideal for the weather wine. Uh, it's mostly Cabernet uh, from a great producer, Star Condé. Uh, so it's like a, a younger producer, uh, kind of these new age producers that are popping up in South Africa. And I think they have some of the most kind of exciting younger producers in the world right now are in South Africa. Uh, so he, uh, this producer, he makes, you know, Chenin Blanc, uh, he makes great uh, 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 Pinot, he makes great Chardonnay, he makes great Syrah, and this is his Cabernet example. So 87% uh, Cabernet, about 10% Petit Bordeaux, and 3% Malbec. So, you know, like a classic Bordeaux blend. Uh, and the Cabernet comes from four different sites, and it's based on four clones. So the sites I have like, different soil combination, different elevation structure, so they give kind of different character. Each side brings a different character to the wine, but the wine itself is like, it's very complex and, you know, kind of great full body cab, new world cab. So, you know, these uh, Piccioni and Star Condi, that's for your high society. Uh, and I think, you know, I, I think this is exciting um, a combination. So, uh, if you guys are not in the club, you know, I think if you join, you'll have 
fun wines just like this or if you're in the club or you want to try uh, uh, some wines that are outside of your kind of club parameters these are great wines you know everything's like in stock and uh, you know just a uh, just fun selection so so that's kind of my little brief overview about the wines uh, I'll see you otherwise you guys I'll see you at the store or you know check everything out online uh, thank you bye